Hey, this is Jay, bringing you some footage of the new weapon that they let season pass holders have a little bit early. This is the Ripper. It's a hybrid of an SMG and AR all in one. So right now we are in SMG mode. You can tell that because the sights up on top are together. Now, when you're in SMG mode, it functions just like an SMG. But right there, you see me flip the sights and put it into the assault rifle mode. Now, when you're in either mode, you get the characteristics of whatever that mode is. So if I'm in SMG mode, I'm going to be moving a little bit faster and its rate of fire is going to be a little bit faster. Now, as soon as you put it into assault rifle mode, though, your rate of fire is going to go down. It's going to start firing a little bit slower and you're also going to have that movement speed reduced. So this is a very interesting weapon. I love this idea. Great idea, Infinity Ward. You know, I've probably been a little bit hard on Infinity Ward, but I really like the concept behind this weapon because there are a lot of times that I'm playing a game and I wish I could kind of switch between an assault rifle and an SMG because I love the movement speed and I love you know in close quarters being able to hit fire and fire a little bit faster but there are times that you really need to pick somebody off at a distance so lo and behold that's what you have in this weapon you know you can just do that now, if you're one of those people that did buy the season pass or you got it like me in the hardened edition, I always buy the season pass because I know that I'm going to end up buying all the DLC. So I might as well save $10 and just buy them all together. But like I said, if you are one of those people that bought the season pass, you just want to go into the SMGs and it's going to be on the top left hand side. Also, too, if you're playing with somebody that has this weapon or against somebody that has this weapon and you kill them, it's going to drop on the ground and you're going to be able to pick it up and try it yourself. So definitely look for it and pick it up and see what you think. I know before I actually had a chance to try it out, I thought it was going to be kind of similar to the Peacekeeper, but it's really not because the Peacekeeper is a true hybrid where it had the characteristics of an SMG and an AR all in one at one time. You know, this is like really having two separate weapons. So it's still kind of a hybrid in this weapon platform, but a little bit different than that Peacekeeper. Now, as far as whether or not I'm liking using this weapon, I really can't give you a good answer right now because to be honest with you, I have been really struggling at this game last night and the night before. I mean, I played with a group of people two nights ago. We played Core Domination and I struggled to go positive. I was like at the bottom of the list every game. I think I only had one game where I went positive. And then last night, I was kind of struggling to get anything going as well. Now, it wasn't as bad as the night before. I think that might have had more to do with the people that I was playing with. They were kind of West Coast, and I think I was the one person on the East Coast. But last night, I was playing with the usual people that I do, and I was struggling to get, like, anything really good. I had, uh, you know, mostly, like, 18 and 10 type games or maybe 30 and 20 if I was playing Domination. So nothing really good that I could get you. That's why you're only seeing clips of this weapon. But I really like the concept like i said i think it's really interesting that they release this so close to titanfall smart move on their part i would have done the same thing i don't know if they should have released it to more people than just the season pass holders because it just doesn't seem like a whole lot of people are actually playing this game right now and that might have something to do with the connection or the lag problems that i've been uh, experiencing either that or my connection something just going on with that but if you've had a chance to check this out or try this weapon out let me know what you think about it i think it's kind of hilarious that the sights for this weapon when it's in AR mode resemble kind of that Titanfall look and speaking of Titanfall I am planning on picking it up first for the Xbox One so if you're going to be on that let me know especially if you're on the East Coast because I'll probably be looking for some people to play because a lot of my friends do not have the Xbox One so let me know about that let me know what you think about this video I would really appreciate it if you take the time to kind of uh, give it a comment or let me know you know give me some feedback also, too, rate it up if you like it or rate it down if you don't. But, guys, as always, take care and God bless.